what is up it is kelly and welcome back we are back yo um sorry for the long wait or for the pause and uploads um but yeah your girl moved so we're back for the one time um and yeah it's just kelly by myself today um unfortunately no lynn today because i did move and so we miss you, Lynn. Um, I love you. Uh, we will be back shortly, though. Next week, I'm going to be back with her. And we're going to do a few episodes, hopefully. So, we will be back, guys. And then me and Lynn will still be streaming together. We will still be doing our podcast. This is only on Mondays. But today is a Wednesday. So, thank you guys for clicking on the video. And, hey, what's up, y'all? So, guys, today... We are going to be talking about Hunter Mother in Biden, okay? So I think you guys, y'all can see the thumbnail, okay? Y'all know what time it is. We're going to talk about this degenerate loser, okay? Hunter Biden. So thank you guys for clicking on and let's get into the mother topic, okay? So yeah, let's talk about the thumbnail just for, just for one second, y'all. So, um, we all know, or most of us know, hopefully you guys know, about the infamous email um, that was recovered from the laptop from hell, Hunter Biden's dirty prostitute-ridden laptop, y'all, where he's talking to his business partner, or actually this is an email from James Galar, who is a business associate of Hunter Biden, to Tony Bobulinski, and it's CC'd Hunter, um, a little bitty Hunter Biden. Uh, yeah, so Tony Bobulinski came out against Hunter Biden and all his dirty dealings. And people just let it fucking slide. They just said, okay, hi, Tony. Welcome. Thank you. Bye. We don't want to hear what you got to say. Even though you're implicating the president. I'm sorry. The quote unquote president, y'all. Um, the former vice president, Joe Biden, and his dirty crackhead parmesan cheese smoking son hunter biden so yeah this email is epic i have this email on a t-shirt y'all like I, <laughs> I i'm familiar with the email i hope you guys are familiar but anyways it's it's, it's dirty dealings in ukraine in this email and it is from james gilliard to tony bobolinski cc hunter motherfucking b and it's talking about 10 held by H, who is Hunter, for the big guy. The big guy, talking about the pudding pop head guy, talking about Mr. Dementia himself, Joe Biden. So what's up with that, guys? What's up with that, Biden family? What is up with that? What are y'all doing? And then we have these glorious photos from the Hunter Biden laptop. Things have been leaked and seen across the internet by a lot of people, myself being one. They are beautiful, as Trump would say, they are the most beautiful. They are um, glorious photos of Hunter Biden, the most beautiful photos we've ever seen. Okay, we have Hunter asleep in a bathtub, smoking a little cigarette. Love to see it, Hunter. You look great. You've never looked better. And then we have Hunter Biden with his crack pipe, sleeping like a peaceful angel. Like, he just looks so peaceful, and I envy him, honestly, in this photo. He looks like he's just a sleeping lamb, okay? And he's got his little, his little noonie, his little crack pipe, if you will, uh, and he's just, you know, sleeping like a baby. God bless you, Hunter. And then finally we have... Hunter Biden with uh, some sort of, I, I believe she is a Russian um, madam or prostitute, uh, allegedly. We don't know for sure, but she's some sort of uh, lady of the night, if you will, uh, in his hotel room. And he's just checking out, checking out what he purchased for the night, you know, checking out what he allegedly has purchased and making sure surveying the goods, you know, you gotta, you gotta, look over your purchase after you've after you've made it you know you gotta make sure that everything looks up to par and from hunter's face in this photo in the thumbnail 
I think it, it it's safe to say, guys, that it looks good. So, yeah, we're going to get into this story. Guys, um, I just wanted to come on here and make a little video about Hunter Biden because I'm sick and tired of the Biden crime family just getting away with any old thing, okay? First of all, we let the decrepit dementia patient, um, former Vice President Joe Biden, steal an election, okay? We installed an uh, illegitimate president, which makes me sick to my stomach as an American, as a patriotic American who loves her country. That makes me a little bit sick. And how dare you? How dare you, Democratic Party? How dare you, DNC? How dare you, mainstream media? How dare you, Facebook? You know, all these entities, all these entities who not only helped to bury the story of Hunter Biden's laptop, but also helped to push the narrative against President Trump, who is ultimately a patriot, and install former Vice President Joe Biden as the illegitimate, pudding-headed president that he supposedly is now, the puppet president, is a disgrace. It really is, y'all, and we all know it. So, okay, so I just had to come on here and talk a little bit about it, guys, because it really irks my soul on a daily basis that we have this former vice president, in, you know, doing whatever he's doing, you know, being the puppet for America, um, and acting like he's in charge of anything, while his son, his son's crimes and his son's, you know, dirty dealings come to light day after day and embarrass this country, this great country. It's, it's truly a sight to be held. So, um, I do want to get into this article from Daily Mail and it's going to talk a little bit about some more things that might be coming out in regards to Hunter Biden and we're going to get into it right now guys. So I hope y'all are ready. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so again, this article is from dailymail.co.uk. Hey, UK, what's up, guys? We see you. What? Okay, I'm sorry. This is about something else, about the subway gunman. <gasps> Did they catch this guy? Okay, what? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting distracted by this story that just popped up. I guess they caught the subway, um shooter so fuck this guy for real okay I'll, I'll need to look more into that but this story is not about that fuck face it's about this fuck face and we're gonna get right into it so I'm sorry my fucking computer okay boom dailymail.co.uk hi UK again we see you so this article not about the subway shooter, but about the Hunter Biden um, exclusive whistleblower who handed Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop to Congressman and DailyMail.com reveals he has 450 gigabytes of deleted material, including 80,000 images and videos, and has fled to Switzerland, fearing retaliation from the White House. So that right there is a mouthful. And let's just talk about it, guys. Um, how sad is it that an American citizen with information where a in this country we are supposed to have freedom of press and freedom of speech. So you should be able to bring any sort of news worthy topics to the public viewpoint, to the, pu you know, like out in, into any, you should be able to distribute materials that you feel are newsworthy on any forum in a free way in this country, and that should be the end of it. The fact that we have Americans who need to flee to Switzerland to handle materials that are, yes, very sensitive, such as Hunter Biden's laptop, and we already see the crazy shit that's come out from Hunter Biden's laptop already. And this is 450 gigabytes of deleted material, okay? So, the stuff that's already come out is bad enough, y'all. Like, we all have seen the, I mean, we just saw the thumbnail. It's bad enough what's already come out. 
but 450 deleted materials? 450 gigabytes of deleted materials? What the hell could be on this computer that was deleted and that they really don't want you to see? So this caught my eye immediately. As soon as I heard this, I was, you know, gave me a little like gasp feeling. I was like, whoa, I'm shook it right now. I would need to know more. So let's look at some of these bullet points that the Daily Mail has laid out here. Whistleblower Jack Maxey gave DailyMail.com a copy of the hard drive from Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop in the spring of 2021. DailyMail.com has published dozens of stories exposing Hunter's drug use, sex obsession, and questionable business dealings. For the past two weeks, Maxey has been in hiding in Zurich, Switzerland, working with IT experts to dig out more data from the laptop from hell. He says he intends to post them all online in a database in the coming weeks. Maxi says he has found 450 gigabytes of erased material, including 80,000 images and videos and more than 120,000 archived emails. The former podcast host says he fears retaliation from the Biden administration. He says that after contacting Daily Mail about the laptop last year, black suburban SUVs appeared outside his home. So this should scare anybody from the West, anybody who's from America, who believes in our Constitution. This should scare you. So this man who has information that is pertinent to a criminal investigation into the son of the former vice president, Joe Biden, who is supposedly leading our country right now, who is supposedly the head of the state, okay? Uh, it's, the jury is still out, but supposedly this person cannot even be guaranteed safety in this country. What does that say? What does that actually say about us? I mean, that scares me because as somebody who's a dissident, and as somebody who is a truth seeker, I don't think that it's okay for people who also seek the truth and who might be speaking out against the regime and power to feel unsafe distributing materials in this country. That is, that is a red flag. That's a scary thought for me. So we're going to just get into a little bit of this article, guys, and we'll see what's up, okay? So, the source who distributed Hunter Biden's laptop to congressmen and media has fled the U.S. to Switzerland, saying he fears retaliation from the Biden administration. Jack Maxey gave DailyMail.com a copy of the hard drive from Hunter's abandoned laptop in the spring of 2021. He also gave copies and material from it to the Washington Post, New York Times, and Senator Chuck Grassley. In his role as ranking Republican on the Senate Judiciary Committee, but he claims they all sat on it for months. For the past two weeks, Maxi has been in hiding in Zurich, working with IT experts to dig out more data from the laptop from hell. Maxi, a former co-host of ex-Donald Trump advisor Steve Bannon's podcast, The War Room, claims he and his colleagues have found 450 gigabytes of deleted material, including 80,000 images and videos and more than 120,000 archived emails. He says he intends to post them all online in a searchable database in the coming weeks. Can't wait for that info, Jack Maxey. And here is a photo of him. And right underneath it is another leaked photo of our guy. There you are, HB. Old Hunter rocking the not so dad dad bod, but like you look like a whole mess. Um, it's not your typical dad bod, you know, because hey, listen, like no shame in anyone's game. I love a dad bod. I think that's hot, you know, like whatever. This is like a crackhead bod. I don't even know what, what you'd call this, but he's gross and here he is with some other, some woman, you know, doing debaucherous shit. shit. Um, probably, probably a crack, crack pipe out of frame here. here. And, and yikes, it's just, 
here's another great photo of Hunter Biden, you know. Um, and this would never be allowed, y'all. Like, if this was, if this was like Donald Trump Jr. or Eric Trump, and these types of photos, like this here, of them came out, the press would have had a field day. And that's what is also so outrageous about what's going on with this laptop. Not only the fact of like the fact of like what has come out with the laptop, which is which is gross and it is treasonous and it is um, bad enough what's come out about this laptop. It's the media bias in reporting the details of the story, and it is the public bias and the overall bias of, of you know how people treated Donald Trump and how people are treating the former vice president and his son. So yes, it, it, you know I think I think conservatives are going a little bit harder on this Hunter Biden laptop story than might typically have been done in the past, but it's because of how people were treated during President Trump's term and how people were treated after the election that conservatives now feel like a dog with a bone, I think, with this story. And that's kind of how I feel as well. It's like, you know, y'all treated us like Donald Trump was this piece of shit. And he really wasn't. I mean, he was, he had his flaws. He was not a perfect man. But compared to the former vice president, Joe Biden, and his gross son, Hunter, you know, they were at least good patriotic people who, you know, might have, you could maybe say had a financial um, incentive there, but I would, I would even argue that, you know, like, I think it was partially maybe like 5% financial, but mostly I think that Donald Trump, President Trump, ran because he loves his country. And I think his sons are the same. And I think that, you know, overall, they're good people. They're good, decent people who, yes, they are billionaires who do have financial stakes. But so what? Who cares? Like, I don't, I don't care about that. I don't care that they're rich. I, I, you know, I care that if you care about this country and the people who live in it. And that is not Joe Biden. That is not Hunter Biden. They are disgusting people. They don't care about anyone but themselves. They do not care about the people of this country. So that's really all I care about. So um, this article just kind of goes on about kind of what we all know. The laptop was abandoned in Delaware. Hunter never, never came back and picked it up. So um, let's continue on here. So Maxie said one reason he chose Switzerland as a hideout was because the only file sharing site that did not take down the laptop files was Swiss Transfer, a file sharing service based in the historically political, politically neutral country. The former Bannon podca podcast co-host said he is livid at the FBI, who, belie who he believes slow walked their investigation into Hunter and failed to enter the laptop they received from Mac Isaac, who was the laptop shop owner, into evidence for months. According to the New York Times, files from the laptop are now part of the investigation into Hunter's federal prosecution for alleged tax fraud, money laundering, and illegal foreign lobbying. Wow. Big fucking whoop de doo You know? That's all I have to say. It's big deal. Like, the fact that people, the FBI, um, news media outlets, people from the news... Um, congressmen have had the contents of this laptop since before the election was stolen. Y'all, that makes me so mad because that just means that, like, people just allowed this to happen because this should have been front page news. Hunter Biden's dealings, his dirty dealings, his foreign dealings should have all been made public a long, long time ago. I think people would have felt very differently. And probably the, the, you know, 500 people that actually did vote for Biden and not just votes that he actually stole, I think probably would have changed their votes in the long run, you know? So I think that it was a overall an injustice done to the American people and an injustice done to the world because when America suffers and 
eventually, if America were to fall, which we are, we, we are rapidly approaching, you know, a great fall, really. Uh, that's the only way to put it. You know, and I pray, I pray every day that that does not happen. But we have to look at the cold hard facts here, guys. And, and America is losing steam, like, in this fight. It's not too late, but, you know, those who helped the downfall of America will have to pay for it eventually because this is a God-fearing country. It was, it was, you know, established that way, and it remains that way until we fall, you know? So it's like those who betray America will have to see their day, you know? They will have their judgment day. So um, let's continue with this article a little bit more, and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. So, okay, among the files on the laptop are a raft of emails and documents showing Hunter's dealings with Burisma, a Ukrainian gas firm that became the center of Trump's first impeachment in December 2019. The then president was accused of pushing Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky into announcing investigations into the Bidens in Burisma for alleged corruption. Um, so I wonder whatever happened to those investigations. Do we know anything about that, guys? Who's this Vladimir Zelensky? Hmm. I feel like I've heard that name before. Oh, yeah. Is that that, like, guy? It was not that, like, gay video? That, like, um, dancing video where he's, like, in the little, like, chaps or, like, leather bra or, like, high heels... I, I, something is ringing a bell, but I just don't, I just don't know. So, hmm, I wonder what all this has to do with what's currently going on in Ukraine and Russia. That's bizarre. I don't know. Vladimir Zelensky, Ukraine, I don't know. Weird. Um, I wonder whatever happened in that investigation. So, we continue with the article. Maxi claims that the FBI had come forward in 2020 with the emails showing the details of Hunter's work for Burisma. Trump would have been vindicated. The FBI had this on the 9th of December 2019, he said. I suppose the first person betrayed was a sitting U.S. president in an impeachment hearing when the FBI had the exculpatory evidence in their hands to have that end instantly, and they did nothing. The second group of people betrayed were all of the Democratic candidates in the spring primaries that year, he added, which is hilarious. So, we're looking at you again, Bernie Sanders. I'm looking at you, Mr. Sanders, Senator Sanders, or whatever, fucking, um, I'm looking at you, Pete, uh, butt gig. I'm looking at you, you little, you little mayor. I'm looking at all of you guys, because... Joe Biden did steal the Democratic nomination from you guys as well. Specifically Bernie Sanders, I would say. But, hmm, how do you Democrats feel about that? Like, please leave it in the comments. Like, you guys, let me know, like, if you're a Democrat, if you're a liberal. I want to know what you guys think about the Democratic primary from the year of the stolen election. Like, to me, you guys were also cheated because I feel like more people wanted Bernie Sanders than wanted putting pop um, corn pop Joe Biden. So, please, um, let me know in the comments what y'all think. If you're a Democrat or a liberal, I'd love to know. So, also, uh, continuing with the article, the American people were utterly betrayed because I guarantee you that Joe Biden couldn't run for dog catcher if the American people knew about this laptop. In emails from the hard drive, Hunter and his business partners make apparent references to Joe's involvement in a multi-million dollar deal with Chinese government-linked oil giant CEFC. And this is what it all boils down to, guys. I feel like there's diversions being made. Like, um, the Biden regime saying a lot of, hey, look over here in Ukraine and Russia while we do these terrible things over here with China and despite you know none of that really like 
involving American people as a whole and me honestly if I'm being truly honest not really caring about any of it you know I care about what happens in America I think that American people do not have the we don't have the capacity to care about the whole world and to also save this nation so we have to like narrow our focus on these issues and you know if you're against that or if you think that's you know, inhumane of me to say, then please let me know in the comments, but I just think that that's the way it has to be. So, and I think that it's blatantly obvious at this point what's going on in Ukraine and Russia is a huge diversion. If you guys have listened to my previous podcast, my solo podcast about the Russia-Ukraine situation, you guys already know how I feel about this, and that has not changed. So, I just think that it's a disgrace. Um, I think the whole administration is a disgrace. I think that Joe Biden and his family is a disgrace. I think that years to come, like years from now, this administration is going to be an embarrassment and a stain on this country. So, um, yeah, like, guys, like, I'm, I'm just really, I'm at a loss when it comes to... The whole situation of what's going on with Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. Um, I think I need to call in and phone a friend. So just because I miss Lenny so much and I want to hear from her, I'm gonna call her right now, guys, and, and just I want to get her take. Like, let's see, let's check in with the Leonard, okay? And hopefully she answers because if not, I'm gonna kick her ass. I told her I was gonna call her. So let's let's call in Lynn, okay? I just need to know if she knows anything about this story as a as a typical person she is so we'll call in and get her you if she answers me but maybe she won't and then we'll have to move on with life. hi hi friend what are you doing i'm watching that but i thought you worked tonight no That's okay you know. well guess what i'm doing uh, podcast? Yes! I can't be on it though because I'm watching Netflix and Uber. What does that have to do with me? I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> well, when you come, can we do one? Yeah, we're definitely going to do one, but I just want to know what you what you know about Hunter Biden right now. I don't know anything. Oh my god, really? <laughs> okay, well, can you watch my podcast? when I publish it in a few minutes and let me know and we'll yeah. talk about it okay you want to mm -hmm. say hi to our 10 people audience hello okay Lenny I love you I miss you I'm sorry that's Thank fine you you, you enjoy your Netflix um I love you too bye bye all right y'all so that was Lynn's hot take on Hunter Biden so that's beautiful we love that we love to see that so hopefully, you know, I want to get you guys' takes as well. And let me know in the comments, please. Um, and yeah, guys, so we'll be back next week. Me and Lynn, you know, in the flesh, y'all. And uh, maybe we'll be back, but maybe not. I just, you have to wait and see. So bye. Love y'all.